Copyright provides powerful protections for the creator or the owner of a particular piece of work. In the United States, however, there is a counterbalance to the copyright protections, and it's something that's known as the doctrine of fair use. And I want to make it clear that fair use is a doctrine in US copyright law. So this is something that's emerged over multiple cases. And what it creates is space for people to derive uh, things from a piece of copyrighted work to create derivations, to engage in criticism without violating the terms of the copyright holder. So fair use carves out some space for people to use parts of a copyrighted work without permission if certain guidelines are met. So there are four guidelines that are typically considered when trying to determine whether or not a particular use of material falls into the category of fair use. So the per first thing is the purpose of the derivative work. Does the derivative work have value? So for example, one might argue that a piece of crit a critical essay about a book that excerpts chunks of the book to make a broader point has, in fact, a great deal of value and may be very important to scholarship about that piece of work, may be very important to uh, helping people better understand something. So, you know, is the derivative work that uses copyrighted material itself valuable in some sense. So that's the first thing to consider. The second thing is the nature of the original work. And here the courts have cast slightly different views on work that is fictional versus work that is non-fictional. For example, non-fictional work that's claiming to tell you know, truths about how the world works opens itself up to different uh, types of criticism because I may disagree with it, I may have facts that contradict it, and so I can quote parts of it in order to try to make a case that it's not true. Um, the third criteria is how much of the derivative work, how much of the original work is used. For example, if I want to write an essay about a book and I try to claim that in order to write the essay I need to quote the entire book at the beginning of my essay, it's probably not going to fly. Same thing if I want to criticize the new Beyonce video in order to engage in my criticism of this new video, I have to reproduce the entire video start to finish before I start talking about it, it's probably not going to work. So the amount of the original work that's used in the derivative is important. If I'm doing criticism, if I'm doing some sort of discussion, I need to be able to pick parts, zoom in on those, and not require reproducing the entire piece of copyrighted work. The final thing that's also important is the consideration of the effect that the work, that the derivative work has on the original's value. Remember that copyright law is designed to protect the rights of copyright owners and specifically to protect their right to financially benefit from their creations or from the whatever creation it is that they happen to own. So if I create a new piece of music, I have the right to profit from that by selling it to other people. If your work, if your derivative work somehow impinges on that right, then it may not fall under the category of fair use. On the other hand, in a lot of cases, certain types of fair use may actually increase the value of the copyright. So bringing attention to a book that you know not many people may have um, may have read. So Oprah's book club, for example, you know, I mean, she can excerpt parts of books, she can discuss those parts of books without violating the copyright law. And in fact, the people that hold those copyrights are probably super excited that she's doing this because it's actually going to increase the value of their work. So not every derivative work decreases the original copyright value and can, in certain cases, it can increase it quite a bit by drawing attention to the work. So these are the things that are considered from a legal perspective in the United States when we try to decide whether or not a piece of criticism or a piece of derivative work is, falls in, under the doctrine of fair use. Can I legitimately claim that I've excerpted an appropriate amount of material um, and I've produced something that is itself valuable and does not substantially affect the value of the original material? That's to some degree what the criteria are.